Thank you again, viewers, for helping make my new book a bestseller on Amazon, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak. And you can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. And this video is sponsored by waterfrontinthehamptons.com. All right, good morning. Yeah, hey, I've got a treat this morning. Over here, we've got Elias V. And if you don't know what his YouTube channel is, then you're missing something. Um, he's been doing this probably as long as I have. Uh, he's, he's a kayak expert, a kayak fishing expert, no question about it. All right, uh, going for fluke in the shallow, skinny water fluking. Uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Okay, three quarter ounce bucktails, uh, four inch gulp grubs, and fishing the shallows of Shinnecock Bay, and that ties in perfectly with the sponsor of this video. This is an all seasons vacation rental home just a couple of miles from where I'm doing this fishing. And yeah, let's take a look from the air. It's uh, this piece of property to the right that's outlined. And if we take a flyover, um, just to the right, there's the property. Now we're heading out into Shinnecock Bay. And yeah, anybody who knows this area, this is west of the bridge. Uh, this is Hampton Bays. Um, anybody who knows this area knows how good the fluke fishing is out here. And I have to say, most of my kayak fluke fishing that's done in the South Shore Bays is done just off to the right, right there. Uh, buoy 12 is off to the right. There's a couple of boats out there uh, in this video. That's Ram Pasture Point right there. And as we pan over to the left, there's the Ponquag Bridge. Beyond that, Shinnecock Inlet. And what's cool about this is, so you've got Shinnecock Inlet, you've got the ocean beaches, uh, Tyana, Ponquag, you know, all, all these beaches that are great for surf casting in the fall. Like I said, this is an all seasons vacation rental. So this is something, you know, that you can get a couple guys together and, and, you know, get an off season rate on this place and use it for surf castings. And the property has a hundred feet of waterfront, um, private community beach access, a thousand square foot deck. Uh, it's just, you know, beautifully laid out. And it's a great place to bring the family, just gorgeous inside. Uh, there's actually seating up to 12 people in the kitchen, ample outside room for entertaining and eating, and uh, oh, three bedrooms, two baths, and a nice cozy place for the evening. Um, and here's what I like. Yeah, there's my kayak on its boat ramp. Um, and it, you bring your boat, bring your kayaks. Uh, this is set up for a fishing family vacation. And uh, yeah, they, they've got work planned on that ramp to straighten that out. But hey, everything is fully functional right now. To learn more, visit waterfrontinthehamptons.com and I'll have a link to that in the video description. Yeah, so I, I realized that, like, I don't have my old unit that had all the marks, but this is what I fished. Yeah, is you go you can go right up on that bar three feet of water yeah all you know right into the teens yeah this is it here yeah yeah you can run right up there and yeah all right so this currently requires some kind of drift control because we have wind right against the current so uh with my kayak i've got the electric so um, it's very easy for me to set that trolling motor into the wind so now i'm drifting with the current i can adjust very easily i can put it on autopilot let the motor do it itself and just just tweak the speed uh with elias's he's got the hobie and he can just pedal into that wind but otherwise it would be wind against current we wouldn't be moving would not catch And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell.
and that beeping that you'll hear, um, that's me tweaking the speed because I'm uh, just trying to get the speed correct. And it's pretty easy to do. You know, it's all a matter of uh, feel in the rod and uh, how much tension is on the line. And like I said, three quarters of an ounce, uh, that's enough to stay down here. How are you making out? Uh, any keepers? Yeah, I got like three, got like three sixteens. Most of them have been, uh, no, this is, yeah, yeah. No, this is the place. It's just a matter of figuring out where they are. And usually when the current starts easing up, Um, no, I'm, I'm actually like, uh, more like 13 feet, you know. So right now I'm driving like right up on the sandbar, uh, which now is probably uh, two to three feet of water. Um, you know, it all depends on the tide, but it's coming up towards the higher part of the tide. And I'm just going to come down and uh, work right off the edge. And a good set of polarized glasses is great for this, and uh, I use Salt Life's uh, prescription glasses, and they're great. And this is the bay version of the uh, Dark Matter Skinner Fluke Rod. It's, a, it's perfect for like half ounce to two ounce payloads. And that beefy here is, as I do with my boat, uh, every time when I'm by myself and I catch a fish, I just hit spot lock and it stops the boat in place so I don't lose any of the uh, ground on the drift. So I had four on that last pass. Yeah, you know, but again, like 16 inches the biggest. I'm um, just running right along kind of deep you know not not the shallow stuff uh, high teens or mid 15 to 18 I guess it's really a sharp drop
there's a catch. Now that's impressive. That is really impressive. <laughs> yeah, the smallest blowfish I've ever seen. So the bottom contours stand out really nice on my plotter there on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, so that's using the Humminbird Coastmaster card. So that's getting close to the 18 and a half inch minimum, but I'm not keeping any fish. Uh, I've got fish in the fridge from the previous day, so um, just out for some fun. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna run up. Um, I mean, right now it's like slack, so I'm gonna spend. A, you know, it'll take me a little time to get up there, but there's a bar. You know, drops off. Uh, I'm usually I usually end up fishing more this way, but uh, the, I've been catching more fish down this end, so. I mean, usually where I start on that and drift back, but I, I was just getting warm when I came up this way. But no, I mean, we're just getting to the change of the tide. Uh, no. Yeah, so the, I moved into some shallower water, and yeah, it's just starting to go out, and the place is loaded with sand eels, which is, you know, what I was looking for is the sand eels that get pushed in on that uh, incoming current and this is a great area when that bait's in there. I got one key per day, but I'm not keeping it, so. Yeah, I think I'm ready to, just about ready to throw the towel on this one. 
Are you? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm gonna stay out a little longer because uh, I actually have to meet somebody uh, locally. I don't know, what time is it? Around one o'clock I'm supposed to meet him. It's 11, all right. Well, I'm not good at putting you on fish, damn. You know, you can see though, this is the place, you know, I mean, yeah. the tide's great, the bait's here. Uh, as recently as Saturday, they were crushing them in here. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I think I got a... Uh, horseshoe crab or 14 pound fluke it's one or the other <laughs> yeah yeah I had the bet oh sorry man it just you know yeah you know yeah I took them tarpon fishing one time we didn't get any uh, tarpon that day uh, what you know that's the way it is with tarpon fishing well, you often don't get any but um yeah i was hoping for some uh more keepers but actually uh, gonna get a couple yes yeah, the very next drift after he left That's, a, that's that's good. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely good. Huh. Oh well. Lucky for you. Nice. Take a mark. But soon after that, it turned into sea robin, after sea robin, after sea robin. Um, so I uh, went and made a move. There was a spot I wanted to try, so I went across the flats. And when I did that, I actually spooked a couple stripers here, so that was neat. Um, so then I, I tried a new spot. Yeah, so this is a boat channel, and uh, it just seems to me, especially on outgoing current, that there should be stuff flushing out of here. But um, I really have no knowledge about it, so I'm just giving it a try. Look at this. This is in a place I've never made a drop before. Holy crap. That's the biggest fluke I got all day. I can't believe that. Good for, good for you. Perfect. Well, obviously, I'm not keeping them, so I'm not netting them. All right. Let me, <laughs> that's unbelievable. I, I literally only stopped there because uh, I've been curious about this channel. So I made like three more drifts there, and that was the only good fish. There was one other short besides that. But all right, well, this is for another time. Uh, you know what? Not a horrible trip. I mean, I did get three keepers out of it, about two dozen shorts. Um, was, was hoping to get more keepers and some bigger stuff. But all right, when I got back to uh, where I launched, there was somebody waiting for me. How are you? Doing pretty well. How are you? Good. How was the fishing today? A lot of smalls. Yeah, yeah, I had a few keepers, but yeah. not, uh, you know, not anything good. Uh, any fish on board? No, you want to check? Thank you. Welcome. Hey, I'll just take a quick look. 
Yeah, pretty much I, I use these to, just in case something goes uh, overboard, they float, right? You yeah. Know, so. Yeah, it's a lot better than losing it. Yeah. I'll just take a quick look at uh, your marine registration. Yeah. What time did you get out this morning? Uh, I guess I was fishing by about like 7. I had a few keepers, but nothing great. Yes, believe it or not, I'm looking for my license. Hopefully I give you... Probably you don't want floor, do you? <laughs> I always do this. We'll take that far south. All right. I have it. I know it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I've got both in here. There we go. There you go. I'll let you get loaded up then. All right. Thanks for checking. Yeah, after he checked me, he went on to somebody else and he had a little more luck there. Yeah, it looks like you caught something, huh? All right, I'll leave you with some more beautiful aerials from waterfrontinthehamptons.com. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. And don't forget my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surfboat and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.